Hello, and welcome to Taskmaster, specifically Lang Family Edition 2022. I have with me here our esteemed trophy, the golden head of Greg Davies. I've put a lot of thought into this, and even though it will make my uh, board game less, this trophy will go to the winner of this year's game. So, more incentive to play for than just all of our stuff that we'll never give to each other for some reason, even though we said that we would, but I digress. The prize task was the prize task. We now move on to our first task, which I have given to you Friday at 5 o'clock Central Time. Um, many of you rose to the occasion and sent them in early. I will really just refer to one person. Brittany did, and that's because I live with her, and she felt the pressure. Um, so early doors belongs to her. Um, then, of course, they started trickling in later in the afternoon. I understand Chief Games being at the Chief Game. Um, there was one group in particular, though, that requested um, extra time and then ended up not needing it. But the letter they sent me, and I, I know you know who this is, with our dear sweet parents um, they sent me a very kind worded letter using of course multisyllabic and very extravagant wording uh, the likes of which I'm sure most of you can imagine uh, so I granted that time without having, having to consult anybody except myself my own brilliant self I gave them that time and I gave them until 3 p.m. Sunday Lo and behold, they sent in their submission that evening. They didn't need it. They ended up uh, coming through no problem. But they had forethought. They're thinking, ah, maybe I won't get this done. Maybe we'll go to Josh, the taskmaster, and ask him for extra time. If we need it or not. They did. They got it. No problems. There was another group, though. Pains me to say this. There was another group that decided not to send me any messages at all. Uh, and I sent them a message, 8 o'clock, give or take, uh, four hours to deadline, uh, and said, Hey, are we getting a t uh, video submission or photo submission from you tonight? And uh, I got back a promise that it would be done in the morning, but no real special asking for extra time just saying hey we'll get it to you when we get it to you that's what I got so I put some thought into it I was like um, I'm pretty sure if uh, you wanted extra time and you thought you needed it you'd get to me sooner but hey I understand things come up circumstances happen this wasn't an easy task by any means that's why I put in that little caveat if you need extra time come to me and we'll figure it out uh, they didn't come to me, though. I came to them. A uh, big difference there. Uh, that was a big issue. Um, and then, after granting them the extra time, I gave them until noon tomorrow. They attacked the taskmaster in a vicious text. Awful. It was just awful. I retaliated kindly. I offered a vote. The vote was passed. There was one standout uh, Brittany, who did not want to let Sam and Maggie get that extra time, but everyone else saw fit to give them that time. So, I stuck with the democratic process, even though Greg Davies would not have. Mm -mm. This guy knew he would have gone against the vote, but I'm not Greg Davies, I'm my own taskmaster, and I decided to put it to a vote, and I followed the vote. They got their extra time. And I hope, this is still early, but I hope they sent that submission in before noon tomorrow. We'll see. And so, for the task at hand, the task was forced perspective. Uh, this was taken many ways. You could either do it with a video or a photo. 
Uh, if you sent in a photo, I requested a video explanation or some kind of video accompaniment to help sell your submission. Um, and uh, let's see what we got. With our first submission, we have Brittany Lang and her adorable son. Fletcher Lang. So, even though you don't have a partner, really, I mean, you have Fletcher. You have a subject material, I guess. You have me here to critique you. How does that help you at all? I don't know, love. I don't know. <laughs> does it help at all? No. <laughs> Oh, you're such a big help, Fletcher. Look at you. I'm sweating. Oh, you should have seen me yesterday doing my little thing. Oh, my God. Hauling half the things in my room around. You're taking me to Target after this. Why don't you explain in this explanation video what you're doing? I'm taking Little Buzz and Little Woody. <coughs> I have to call them that because he has many different sizes of these characters. Little Woody, that was Daniel's nickname in high school. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm trying to put him mm -hmm. as sitting next to Buzz and what's with, what, what's with Big Buzz? He's there for test, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, are Buzz, you replacing your son already? Buzz's test shots, he's the biggest thing besides Sai, but Sai is... Is much too big. Ah, Sai! Um, so Big Buzz is my test subject. Oh, okay. And I'm trying to get it to look like Fletcher is sitting next to Woody and Buzz. Well, he is sitting next to Woody and Buzz right now. So, that's the plan. However, the toddler is tired of me moving him around. The bottom right there. Booty. Okay, now, do they go? Alright, now. Now, I gotta give pretty high marks for that. Maybe not the highest marks, but definitely not the lowest. I mean, she did that all on her own. I had nothing to do with it except recording it. Um, Fletcher was there, of course, to help and be subject material. Um, but all I did was film the explanation. That way it was easier for me to take it off and put it in this video. But I gotta say, the end product looked really good. She went through a lot of trial and error um, and figured it out and knocked it out. Our next submission comes from Glenna and Mariah out in Colorado, the Twisted Sisters. <laughs> It was a it was a, a, a montage of different uh, forced perspective uh, pictures, uh, and I liked it. It was very uh, uh, Tower of, Leaning Tower of Pisa esque, you know that classic classic comedy bit. Um, this was also submitted with a text um, blurb that said. Our submission is titled Rocky Mountain High, a retrospective. It's about being a part of nature, being attacked by nature, and turning to Lord Vader for guidance. And being trapped on the lantern by a giant snowman. So, it, it had backstory. It had theatrical elements. It is one of the things I asked for in my uh, task video that I posted on YouTube. So, I gotta say, high marks. High marks. This is very good. Our third entry comes from Daniel and Crystal, Evan and Jacob, the team formerly known as the Montana Langs, otherwise known as the Pound Note symbol. Yeah. Thirteen in a row, Jacob. Thirteen in a row. I don't know what else I have to do. I feel like I'm failing you as a parent. 
by allowing you to root for and be a fan of such a loser team like the Broncos. So, what you're going to do is watch the last 13 losses that the Broncos have endured at the hands of the Superior Chiefs. 13 in a row, son. Buckle up. I'm going to force you to see things from my perspective. Quick note about Daniels. Yes, I added the tomahawk chop music behind it. Kept it low. Didn't want to overpower his video, but I wanted to add a little flair to it because I think he would appreciate it. Um, but uh, I really enjoy the dual meaning for the force perspective. I'm going to force perspective. That's, that's solid. As far as the video goes, I feel like you could have gotten a better angle on it or done a little more to make it look like you were bigger than Jacob, but, uh, I mean, not bad. I know that, that's difficult to do. you got to get the lighting right. you got to get focus right. It's ridiculous. So I, I totally understand. However, uh, it might put you down a few pegs. I like the double meaning. I like the Chiefs. I like all that. But I think the video... Could have been better. But really, that's my only critique. Very well done. Before we can continue, part one is over. Don't worry, we'll be back for part two. It was brought to you by your friends and family at Vandal Industries, the Western Hemisphere's premier importer and exporter of fine latex goods and products. Talk to one of our fine sales staff about how Vandal Industries can help you with your personal and business latex needs. Vandal Industries is also proud to announce our new line of products, designed for individuals with latex sensitivities. Introducing latex-free latex, now 99% less latex. When it comes to latex, say Vandal Latex-free latex is still regular latex, but just 1% of the original product. Latex allergy reaction may still occur. Vandal Industries is not responsible for the anaphylaxis, shock, risk, per injury, skin reaction, or death due to exposure. Welcome back to Taskmaster. I'm your host, Joshua Lang, the Taskmaster. And this... My symbolic little friend, Lord Davies. If you ever saw this, I'm sure he would just be totally um, upset with this. But anyway, continuing on with the tasks. Our next video submission comes from the seasoned ones. The ones that asked for extra time the correct way, but didn't end up needing it. They sent it in uh, and uh, with a nice little video add-on and uh, let's, uh, let's take a look okay sure. all right let's see what this is it's gonna work yeah no that's forced perspective uh, you have the foreground element and background elements and the angle is good I, I thought it was a big cup with two grandparents standing in it. Yeah, yeah it's pretty simple. And the nice little walk away from behind it with a little video edition. That was nice. I did add in a little bit of silly music just to add a little more flair. <laughs> what can I say? I like adding flair. Stay with me. Um, but no, I thought it was a very good submission. And uh, very worthy of points. We'll see where it sits on the uh, scoreboard after all this. And now we arrive to our fifth submission. The deadline was extended for them after some back and forth. And they had until noon today to put in or get send me their submission. I got their submission at 12.01. And uh, they, they know that because Maggie uh, said, sorry for it being a minute late. She did apologize for it being a minute late. So that's pretty great. Um, see if Greg Davies was, if, if Lord Davies was residing over this. Like I said before, no point, no points. However, I'm my own taskmaster, so what am I going to do? Do I proceed to play into the video and then critique it after, just like I've done with all the prior submissions? Or do I cut it?
very worthy submission. I liked it. Uh, nice use of the toy truck as the bigger object or the foreground bigger object and the real car in the background is the smaller. I'm sure that's probably what they struggled with was the focus. It's kind of what uh, Daniel and Crystal and them kind of uh, struggled with was the focus of the foreground and background lighting. It's always a nightmare to do. Um, and uh, I think the video could have been better, especially with the extra time. But neither here nor there. Uh, I thought it was a great uh, addition to the other submissions we got. I also did add a little bit of sad music over the homage paid to the destroyed truck for James because I do know that he probably missed that truck. But he probably has like five other dump trucks or Tonkas or whatever they're called now. So he's probably okay. Either way. There you go. Well Fletcher, the only thing we have to do now is grade them and give them their points. I was going to do that on here after each, or not after each video, but after watching every video and at this point in the video, lay out the points. But I have someone in my ear constantly telling me that we need to do it on live. So is that what we do or do we do it here? You decide. Here or there? Here? You going to do it here? You don't know almost let you make the decision. You're my little Alex Horn. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, we'll talk to you all later and give you your scores. Ta-ta.